We go to 84 kilograms. Keith Gavin, 2008 NCAA champion at Pittsburgh, third at the U.S. Olympic Trials, just won the U.S. Open last month. He'll represent the United States against Hassan Lashkari, 27 years old, the bronze medalist, or one of them, at the London Games last year in the way the Repishaz second chance brackets work at the international level. Two bronze medals available for wrestlers. Lashgari grabbed one of them at 84 kilos last year. And again, another case where Hassan has more knowledge and has a little bit more experience on the international scene. And that really affects you when you when it comes down to the, the last few seconds and maybe you're questioning yourself, doubting yourself. And that's why the importance of these type of matches you know, gives you the character to know that when times are short and things are tough, you, know, you, you can rely on your, your basic ability, and that's to be a good wrestler. Gavin, originally from Factoryville, Pennsylvania, that's outside of Scranton, about two hours away, now lives and trains in Columbus, Ohio. Really close the last few years, knocking on the door at some U.S. high-level events, but again, as the U.S. Open champion, representing the United States in some international events the last couple of years. And now a stoppage here. And the official wanted to get more action involved from Keith Gavin against Lashkar. But he talked about really growing into his body. He was kind of between weight classes to find his form. But here, missed on the shot. And Lashkari able to pick up the point for the takedown. And Lashkari, I, I caught that. He actually had control of Keith's hand and actually passed it by because Keith was making an attempt. And he actually passed that hand right by. So there's no way he can even make a single leg attack or any type of a leg attack because you know it was such good defense from Lashari to be able to pass that through for the one point takedown. Short time now, Keith's trying to drive him to the edge of the map to try to drive him out for the one point push out. But just very smart wrestling and being able to bring it back in the middle, Lashari being able to you know, keep it neutral. Don't want to get you close and you're back close to the edge of the mat because you can get scored on. Couple seconds remaining, Lashgari. And to deny Gavin a point. And his takedown will stand as the winning point in period number one. And at the end of that period, you see Lashgari feeling a little more comfortable. No, even though there was 10 seconds left, he didn't have to make an attempt. He still took a little bit of a risk there by trying to elevate that up and uh, look at a far side knee tap, but he didn't go for it. No harm done, but that's just confidence. You know, filling a guy out, figuring out what he's good at. And, you know, Keith in this second period probably needs to change his level, stay low and stay in good position because he may be out horse and out horse, horse power a little bit. And it's all about staying true to what you're good at. Here we go, second period. Again, score from the first period does not carry over. So Gavin working even right now with Lashgari. Lashgari is doing a kind of a slam underhook. Uh, you know, uh, ultimately almost a good attempt. Keith with the simple little arm drag to the side. He got uh, Lashgari off balance. Wasn't able to score and execute on a but. It's an, it's an angle and it's an opportunity to show Lashgari that you have an attack. Lashgari able to turn and score again. And grabs the upper hand for the second period in a row against Gavin. Just consistent pressure. You know, put the pressure on Kevin. I'll be able to adjust it. Lashgari for the one point takedown. And that's, that's the transition. You know, from changing your level, you know, kind of interfering with your opponent's eyesight, and then just getting there on a deep shot again. Lashgari feeling confident. You know, usually don't make this many attempts if you're ahead, unless you feel really good about yourself. And Lashgari's not really pulling back. And I think that's probably some of this energy here in New York City. I want to show the world, you know, what I have to offer. I want to show how good the sport of wrestling is in the Olympic movement. And this Iran freestyle team reigning World Cup champs as far as dual meet success. They went unbeaten at home in that dual meet competition in February, besting the U.S. and Russia both by 6-1 scores in their dual meet get-togethers. And right now they are taking it to the United States again. And both wrestlers, I've just been watching the whole match, and both wrestlers, their foreheads are really bright. They're really doing a lot of head playing, fight for position. Referees going to stop them. You know, both of them have been really, you know, fighting for head position, and referee says, hey, let's, let's start again, you know, and that's where Lashgari, not, not hesitate, you know, 
just executing and that's kind of how the you know the Iranians they like to execute they don't wait they don't care about the score they want to go out there they want to win at all costs because they're that good technically Gavin needs a point here if he can get a point in the final seven seconds it's worth the period win but not able to score against Hassan Lashkari and the bronze medalist from London last summer will get his hand raised again here in this dual meet against the U.S. A two period to none win for Lascari and a 4-1 lead in the duel for Iran. 